bottle of water and were in danger. And they went and woke him, saying, How can he sleep? Master, Master, wake up! The boat is filling with water! We'll drown! And he awoke and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. Peace. Be still. And they ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why were you afraid? Where is your faith? They were afraid, and they were marveled, saying to one another, Who then is this that he commanded even winds and water, and they obeyed him? I keep hearing of this Jesus of Nazareth. They say he does <laughs> miracles. He's a trickster, a fraud. I know. I want you to find out how he does it so we can expose him. <laughs> Hiram, Orpa, where are you taking David? We are going to the Sea of Galilee, sir. To see the rabbi, Jesus. He's going to heal our David. I've heard of him. David, after Jesus heals you, we'll talk and we'll play together. <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful, Papa? God sent Jesus to heal David. I hope so, Sarah. As ruler of our synagogue, Hiram, I feel I should warn you. Not every wandering rabbi lives up to the stories told about him. Oh, oh we know, Jairus, but there's something different about this Jesus. Different? We've heard that he asks no reward for his healings. He heals out of kindness. Come, David, we must go now. <laughs> Peace be unto you, Jairus. And unto you, Hiram. Bye, David. Come by and play with me when you come back. <coughs> You're not getting sick, are you, sir? <coughs> oh, no, no, Papa. I'm, I'm just a little cold. On such a hot day? <coughs> ah, another beautiful morning. <sighs> yes. Thank you for coming to see me. Oh, think nothing of it. It's always my pleasure to see such a good patient as yourself. Still no improvement in your condition, my Lady Mikau. Nothing changes, Dr. Zobar. Twelve long years I've been sick. I feel like an old woman. You are still young and beautiful, my Lady Mikal, and rich. I was once, but my youth, my beauty, and my money 
are all gone. Gone? Your money's gone? I spent all my money paying doctors like you to try and cure me. I have barely enough money left to live on. Oh, that's, that's very bad news. But if you hear of any new treatments, you'll tell me, won't you? Uh, oh, yes, of course. But you must understand that medicine costs money. <laughs> but I've already paid you so much, and none of your treatments have helped. I, I have so many expenses, I... <laughs> I'm sure you understand. In my profession, one has to make a good impression. <laughs> Bye-bye. Uh, send for me if you can afford any more of my services. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing left. <laughs> I can't marry. I can't bear children. I don't even have a life. And yet no one can heal me. <laughs> Father in heaven, please. Let me die! <laughs> Your child. He seems to be in such pain. Why is he laughing? Because we're taking him to Jesus. Jesus will heal him of the palsy. <laughs> Who is this Jesus? Oh, a great teacher. He works miracles. Miracles. you some fresh water. It's no use. She can't drink. She can hardly speak. <coughs> Papa, I'm... I, I think... I'm, I'm dying. You'll get better, Sarah. I... I wish I'd gone with David to see Jesus. <coughs> Yes. Now when Jesus returned, a crowd welcomed him. Well, they were all expecting him. Master, our son, he has never been able to stand or even speak. But we know that the power of God can do anything. And the power of God is in you. Parents have great faith, and your heart is filled with love. 
rise up and walk. Then a man Please, named Jairus, a synagogue through. leader, I must came speak to and Jesus. fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come to his house because Jesus. his only daughter, See. a girl of about Jesus. 12 years old, was dying. Master, please come to my house. My only child, my daughter, Sarah, she's dying. Not Sarah. Take me to the child. was on his way, a crowd almost crushed him. And a woman was there who has been subject to bleeding for 12 years, but no one could hear her. So she came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. Immediately, Wait. her bleeding stopped. Who touched me? Master, in a crowd like this, so many people? How could you ask who touched you? We all touched you. No. Someone touched me. I felt strength leave me. Master, forgive me. I touched your robe, and I am healed. Daughter, be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. Go in peace. Oh, thank you, Lord. My Lord, your daughter, she's dead. Then we're too late. <laughs> Jairus, 
master. I'm sorry I troubled you. My daughter is dead. Fear not. Just believe. And your daughter will be made whole. But... Come. Show me the way. When he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go with him except Peter, John, and James. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Don't weep. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. Jesus said, do you think we don't know death when we see it? They know death, but I know life. Where is your daughter? But they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her hand by the hand and said, Young girl, arise. Oh, oh, Jesus. The spirit returned, and at once she stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. You, her parents were astonished, but he ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. Master, was she dead? Did you really raise her from the dead? Everything you've seen me do, you can also do, if you have faith. It's amazing. I would have never dreamed such things were possible. Miracles! Miracles! And to have seen with my own eyes! He says we can do the same. How can we? We're just fishermen! Look! A man walking on the water. It's a spirit! Impossible! Whatever spirit you are, stay away from us! Don't be afraid. You know me. Master. Oh, Master, if it's you, then command me to come to you. Come. faith. Why did you doubt? If you have as much faith as a mustard seed, the smallest of seeds, then you could do all the works you see me do. 
truly. You are the son of God. He, he's healing the sick. Why? I saw the man walk. The people love him. The leprosy was gone. It, it was a miracle, I listen, tell you. Listen, listen to me. They're nothing but tricks. <laughs> and I must say, nothing clever. He just has friends that pretend to be sick, and then he pretends to heal them. A woman with an invisible disease, uh, a boy pretending to have palsy, and a man claiming his daughter was dead. <laughs> Even Jesus said she was sleeping. Now go. We'll handle this, Jesus. The people are so blind. How can they not realize what they're seeing? Someday, I'm afraid we'll have to save the people from this false messiah. Should I? No. We will use the law to condemn him. Sooner or later, he'll make a mistake, and then everybody will know who he really is. Sarah, watch me! <laughs> Do you? I can. I can jump. <laughs> watch me run! Run, Jason, run! <laughs> Come on, Sarah, run with me! <laughs> Jesus spread many more miracles from place to place, town to town in his life. Like healing the sick, casting the demons out, brought the dead back to life, make them walk, make the blind see, and even feeding the multitude of people. Yes, always I'll be. Mm.